Hey, and welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacle. When we left off, we had just rescued Laverne, so we should be... There we are, the kennel. So, this episode, I think we're going to turn Laverne into a tentacle. That would not be how. We'll talk Ew, to him. Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Um... Get me out of here! This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human, you don't have any rights. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. No, I actually think that was the wrong okay, dialogue option human, just yet. Do your business. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the wrong dialogue option at this point, but what we'll do is use it as an opportunity to give Bernard the scalpel. <laughs> use scalpel with Bernard. We can't stick our head in that yet, can we? I'm too big to fit through. That's what he said. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Right now, this oh dear God, Laverne. This time we want to you who, Mr. go to the Tentacle doctor. Guy. What? Which is what we probably Ooh, should have done I first. I feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh oh. Time to visit Doctor Tentacle. I love the the relative well, charts. What are we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Now, if she still had hers on her, she'd have offered to let him use hers. Hmm. So again, what? I picked the wrong dialogue option. Whoops. Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. I could live with being a pet. Now, we want to take the tentacle chart. Let's have a look at these. Licensed to treat tentacles for the betterment of the tentacle race. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. I assume that's significant. Um, let's just go back. Actually, can we go straight out the front door? Nah. Where's the shot? Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. We'll I call wish him I had Nigel. Some sort of tentacle disguise. Now, obviously, whoever beta tested this didn't feel that it was obvious enough that you had the tentacle chart there. What you do is you give that to Hoagie, but you can't do that right away because we've got to go back outside. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Oh, I have, have to go to, to, the, go bathroom. to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Now we'll just go over here. Give that to Hoagie. And we'll go to Hoagie. And we'll give that to the seamstress. As much as I know we'd all love to see the baby in a bikini swinging a broad axe, we have to have a tentacle instead. Think she was this room? We am unlocking so much concept art. I don't even know why it bothers to disappear. Or is it just flashing up there? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Oh, that's right, we just leave it on the table. In just a moment. 
sorry about that, but it was for it was for our, <laughs> our mutual benefit, I assure you. Now, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We have done the flag. What else is he carrying that we need to be concerned with? We have the soapy water. I think we will... No, we don't have the other ingredients for the super salad battery yet, so we can't do that. But we can give the can opener to Laverne while she is where she is. So she's got that. We can also give her the spaghetti, the teeth, and I think that might just... We give the red paint to Bernard. I think that's it for the moment. Now, she can go back inside. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. And now she needs to get upstairs, so... Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Now, for some reason we can just go straight out here, straight through here. Can't go up the chimney. Or can we? Yep, we can. Oh, God damn it. I suppose we can just teleport the crank to her. Nope. Sigh. Back in a minute. Okay, and we're back, and she now has the crank, which we use on here. I apologise for that, I should have thought of that. I will use... No, we're not going to pick it up. Oh my god. Use crank with that. Now crank the crank. Pull crank. There we go. Now we'll take the flag. Now we shall use the flag. And voila! We are now a tentacle. We can't go through there this, in this world. But now we should have free reign of the place. We also get hit on, which is concerning. Tell Meanwhile. Me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening. Like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up. Like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now let me tell you about a little plan I have. So now that we're, we are a tentacle... Oh, by the way, you can speak with the Edisons. Just because I don't doesn't mean that you can't. And what do you know? 200 years are up. Just as we walk in. Pick up the jump. Ooh, cute! Anything in there? No. Um, now. Recyclotron. What's deal with that. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. Which in the 90s was a big thing. People didn't seem to do that for some stupid reason. We don't want to go down there yet. <laughs> stupid tentacle. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Frozen hamster. Oh dear, and coming up is now one of my favourite parts of the game, notwithstanding that it's Laverne, not Hoagie. And it is... In one second. It is... We put the hamster in the microwave. This isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. <laughs> oh dear. Uh oh. Hmm. 
That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. That's right, kids. Don't try that at home. Cold, wet hamster really doesn't look happy, does he? This ought to warm him up. Toasty, warm hamster. Now, it's only just as I think of this that I finally get where my father got the saying 20 years ago, happiness is a dry hamster. Which, Miss Isabella, if you're watching this, we are finally solved it. Now, we want to... I think we want to go back upstairs, actually, because there's an another piece of the super salad battery that we can get. I don't know which room it's going to be in. Ah, oh, this room. Nobody I know. Hmm, how decorative. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. We're going to use the can opener with the time capsule. Now, if you remember, we put wine in there before. It's been two centuries. I doubt even Grange is going to keep that long. And that's pretty much all we want that room for. Next room. What's in here? Ah, the mummy. Now, this is our human for the human show. I would, but who would see it? So we have to, ah, use the roller skates with the mummy. And push the mummy. Reich. And for some reason a pink flamingo. Great Scott! You're purple! Uh, um... Yes? Um... I couldn't help noticing you ranting. Not ranting, plotting. So... What are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Hmm. Well... Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Do you mind? You're disrupting my concentration. Oh dear, well let's see what his plans are. According to these, the tentacles control most of the world already. At least he hasn't conquered Antarctica yet. That would be because Antarctica is free from all territorial claims including those of the tentacle. But I'm sure that's a boring topic that no one really cares about. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. Ooh. Okay, well, we're not getting anything there. We will be here in a minute for the human show. Let's go and get our mummy ready. Downstairs. I don't know why it is, but whenever I, call, I record this game, for some reason my throat just decides it needs to have a whooping cough. So I apologize that I've been really quiet through this let's play. It's too early to do his hair. I'd rather save that until he's ready to be judged. Right, now we need Hoagie. And I'm going to go and try this again. I think it might just be my mouse playing up, but I am certain that what I have to do is swap these two beds. And I am even more certain that this is achieved but I'm going to disable this concept art notifier uh, settings hmm okay so I don't get to know you I don't get to turn it off hmm just a moment hmm well I'm sorry that I can't turn that off 
No, I want to use it with. Where am I gonna put it? There's meant to be a use with option, goddammit. There we go. Uh, 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 Sounds somewhat constipated. <laughs> Drag, I love it. Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Now. Yoink. And we'll just flush that. Laverne. Use the mouse toy. And that should get rid of one of them. No? Oh, well, how do we get rid of one of them then? What do we just call on the human show? What do we use the mouse for then? Hmm. Oh, we're sure we used to. Oh, maybe we have to wait till we're up there. Oh, let's see. Nice clock. Yes, it's a valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. No one will get near it while I'm here. <laughs> what up? Got a big clock. Um... Hi, I'm Laverne. Laverne, eh? Curious name for a tentacle, I must say. Are you here for the show? Yes, that's right. Well, good luck to you then. There are some jolly good prizes to be won. Why, the grand prize is a dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with tales of my adventures. Now we are missing one more thing before we get on to that. And I've just remembered. The whole reason we gave Bernard the scalpel at the start of the episode was so that he can go and wreak his vengeance on Bozo the Clown, whatever its name was. See, if something gets in your way, kids, just stab it in the face with a scalpel. See the look on Bernard's face as he did that? He really enjoyed that, just a bit too much. Flush that to Laverne. Now, we should have everything that we need. I think we need a fork. Um, that should be all that we need now. Be or not. You. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with tales of my adventures. Hmm. Why would he need a sense of humor in here? Hi. What about these they people? They both seem to be very happy about something. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure how else we bring on the human show. We don't just go upstairs. I'm pretty sure we have to tell... Oh, let's go back through here. Remember there were some tentacles off to the right hand side? Let's investigate that. Uh, we'll talk to him. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant there we go. human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. You pervert. Just a sec. Right, so now we should be able to enter the human show. Hi, my name is Mummy. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Indeed, let's. Ah, here it comes. My ah. Finest hour. Now, now's... You see that extra guy who's on the bench? That's what we needed the mouse for. We can get rid of him using the mouse, and then we can trump the others using the various things in our inventory. So, firstly, I squeaky mouse toy. Not. No? 
Well, can we at least... Here we go, and we can... I Make could that never do that to someone as shy and sensitive as my friend here. There we go. Oh dear lord, how old is that? And we'll give him the teeth. And we'll give him the laugh. Now can we use the mouse on this other guy yet? I think not. No, I think we have to use the fake vomit. You'd have to really hate somebody to pull a mean trick like that. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots! You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. What a mess! And that's the contestant I for... I hate cleaning up after humans. Bloody hell, that's the contestant for best hair out of the way. I doubt the guy with the lampshade is going to be in the running for that one. In fact, I don't know what he's in the running for at all. Can we use the mouse with him yet? I think not. Can we use the mouse with any of them? I think no. not. Well, let's just see how we go with what we've got then. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you oh dear. That's funny. Listen to this. Let's talk to them. Um... <laughs> hey, anybody care for a bride? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human. <laughs> hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, alright. I love the way they... Waddle, I love it. Little wow, touches. that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick. And full. And juicy. <laughs> the mummy wins. Agreed. Alright, so that's one out of three. Oh my god. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, alright. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Oh dear. We shouldn't have won that one, I don't think. And best hey, laugh. When are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, alright. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. Ha ha ha! A classic. Ha. 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 It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. And we win. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Yay, well done, dead cousin Ted. But your usefulness is not, in a, not at an end yet.
Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. <laughs> certainly the only useful one so far. It's that guy from the Hawaiian cop show. I assume back in the 90s that was the legitimate reference. Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. So can it, son. This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Ooh, ick! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. <laughs> they may be in disguise. Uh, lordy lordy so we're pretty well done here for the moment uh, how do we get rid of this guy I think now we use the mouse sorry I'm under strict orders from tentacle number one the almighty elder the grand puma purple tentacle not to let anyone near this clock but I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darn attractive one, I might add. Oh my god. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Just a moment. Okay, so... The escaped humans will be... The Edisons, in fact. What we need to do is find a cat. Is there a cat? Yes, there is. Right. Okay, I finally worked it out. Squeaky Mouse toy with the cat. Yum, yum. <laughs> Scrumptious vermin. It's as if he'd rather scratch himself than play with this adorable rodent. Fair enough. Well, what if we use this? Can't get close to him. Fine, we'll use it on the fence. This ought to be good. Now we can lure him out with the mouse. Uh, not with the booby be gone. Use the mouse with the cat. So well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. I do like Laverne. There's something to like about all these characters. I really do find them quite endearing. Now, the kennel. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? Oh, FFS. And, and everyone thinks men have a one-track mind. I'm uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> um. I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Huh, you losers can't even ride tricycles. See why no one wants them as pets? I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Now what we'll do is we'll give him this because it's for Club Tentacle. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. He was just hitting on me. Oh my god. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. 
big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. <laughs> the woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. And there's our next big clue. We preempted that, though. Hey, look, a skunk. <laughs> Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Yeah, about that. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Alright, well, we're just gonna leave that poor cat there covered in white out. And we're gonna call it an episode here. Well, over here, actually. Um, so, ending that animal cruelty-themed half an hour, we're going to save in slot D and I will see you in the well we're more than halfway through now I told you it wouldn't take long and I will see you all in the next in the words in the next episode so until then cheers